community kids. It's going to be awesome today. Are you ready to have fun? It's going to be so fun today. But before we get started, go ahead, like we always do, go call your brother, call your sister. Tell mom and dad, community kids is on. I'm going to give you five seconds. Go ahead, yell mom, dad, brother, sister, family, community kids is on. Five seconds. Okay, tell them, run, Community Kids is on. All right, now that everybody's ready to go, let's warm up, let's have a dance party. Are you guys ready to have a dance party? Go ahead and stand up, and I wanna see your best moves. The best dance party ever. Ready, 20 seconds, and dance. fun now let's get started we're gonna jump right into our lesson miss Megan take it away hi guys flash here here to teach you about Jesus and his love wait no I am the flash you don't think so I am you should see how fast I am all right I'm not actually it's kind of making my face sweat anyway so we'll take it off but I am here to talk to you about Jesus and love and loving our neighbor. And we're gonna start by digging into our Bibles. We're going to the book of Luke. And Luke is in the New Testament. So if you find the New Testament, and then you're gonna go three steps over, Matthew, Mark, Luke, we're in chapter 10. So I'll give you a minute to find it if you have a Bible nearby. All right, and we're gonna start chapter 10, and we're gonna start in verse 25. I'm gonna sort of tell you what's going on here. So Jesus is talking with one of the experts in the law. And this expert's asking Jesus, hey, how, how do I get to heaven? How do I live forever? And Jesus answers his question with a question and says, well, what is written in the law? How do you understand it? And that's typical Jesus, answering a question with a question. He does that a lot. So if we keep reading now in verse 27, the expert in the law is talking now, and he says, well, it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And that's found in Deuteronomy. And love your neighbor as well as you love yourself, which is found in Leviticus. Jesus says, yeah, you answer correctly. You do that and you live. But this doesn't appease the expert in the law because really what I think this guy's getting at is like, well, what is the bare minimum that I have to do to get into heaven? Like, what does loving my neighbor really mean? The people in my house, got that covered. The lady next door, I like her. She takes care of my dog when I go on vacation. I can love her. What does it really mean to love your neighbor? So Jesus tells him the story, and we commonly call this story the story of the Good Samaritan, which follows this transaction with Jesus and the expert in the law. But we're gonna tell in the fun way today. So I brought some super friends with me today. I brought some superheroes, and we have Hulk and Spider-Man. Captain America. Now these three are pretty super, pretty strong, do lots of good things, and they're part of the Marvel superhero family. So we'll put them over here. I also have Batman. Now, he's kind of a baby Batman, but don't let his small size fool you. He is still powerful. And he's a superhero, but he's part of the DC superhero family. So we got Marvel and we have DC all superheroes. So here's how our story is gonna go. Let me move these. So one day, Captain America is taking a walk, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, these bad guys come and they beat him up and they throw him to the ground and they leave him there, bleeding. Just left there to die. Well, fortunately, Spider-Man's coming and Spider-Man's part of the Marvel family. Surely he's gonna help Captain America. He sees Captain America and he's like, ooh, that's, that's part of the Marvel family. He's a superhero like me. But I, I've heard these guys that wear these blue suits sometimes 
they're not very nice. So I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see him and keep going. And Spider-Man leaves without ever helping. Next, Hulk is coming and Hulk is moving really quick. He has places to be, things to smash. He's got stuff to do. He looks and he sees Captain America and he's like, oh, what a shame. Another member of the Marvel family. <laughs> I really hope someone can help him, but it can't be me. I am too busy. So Hulk continues on his way. It's not looking good for Captain America. Well, then, Batman comes swooping in. And Batman, if you remember, is not part of the Marvel family, but he's a superhero. And he sees Captain America, and he feels such pity and such compassion for him that he sc scoops him up and he flies him to the nearest hotel. And he tells that hotel owner, you do whatever this man needs. If he needs food, I'll pay for it. If he needs to stay here for a week, I'll pay for it. If you need to call the doctor, it's on me. So Batman makes sure Captain America is taken care of. So let me ask you this. In this story with our superheroes, who showed love to their neighbor? Was it Hulk? Spider-Man? Or was it Batman? Yeah, you're right. It was Batman. He was the one that showed love to Captain America. And you know what's cool about this story? Batman realized that Captain America was his neighbor, even though they weren't part of the same Marvel family. Batman's DC, Captain America's Marvel. So they're different, but they're both superheroes. So he recognized, hey, you're my neighbor, and I need to show love to you. And that is the point that Jesus makes in this story of the Good Samaritan. That if somebody's a human, they're your neighbor and you are to love them. People know we love Jesus by how well we love other people. And we don't get to pick and choose who we love if we're followers of Jesus. Of course, it's easy to love your family or your friends or people that are like you, but God created everyone so different. And we are to love everyone because they're different. Jesus loves that we're different. So that means we love people even when sometimes we don't feel like it or if they do things that seem strange to us or if their skin's a different color or if their family's dressed different than us or sometimes they just do things that sort of annoy us. We are still called to love them. That's how we show Jesus love. So my prayer and my challenge for you this week is to make sure that you're showing Jesus love to all your neighbors. That's everyone. That way they know you love Jesus. Before I go, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for this time together. God, I just pray that we make an effort to show your love to all of our neighbors. Thank you for creating us all different and thank you for loving us for our differences. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next week. Miss Megan, fantastic job. You always do a fantastic job. I love it. Isn't it so cool that when we show people love, it shows that we're Jesus' disciples. Awesome! Now isn't it also cool that Jesus chose us to be his disciple to show love? Wow, that's just fantastic and awesome! Love it! Now, let's jump into our memorization verse. Miss Alyssa, take it away. Hi everyone, our memory verse for this week is John 13, 35. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciple. Now let's learn some motions to help us remember. For your love, we're gonna trace a big heart. For one another, open your hands into a semicircle. Will prove, you're gonna put your fists on top of each other. To the world, like a big globe, that you are my disciple. Put your hands in a cross. And for John 13, 35, open your hands like a book. All right, let's do that all together. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciple. John 13, 35. All right, now you try it. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciple. John 13, 35. Great job, everybody. Practice that this week, and we'll see you next time.
Miss Alyssa, thank you so much. I love that verse. I love that verse. I guess that's the theme today, love. We should love people because we're his disciples. So cool, I love the love. Do you love the love? Raise your hand if you love love and that you love Jesus. Yeah! Again, Miss Alyssa, thank you. Are you guys ready to do the craft? Let's go. Miss Mandy, take us away. Okay, so for today's lesson, we are going to make these awesome paper chain dolls um, that one's a boy and one's a girl and it says united in love so showing that we stand united in love and each of us were made uniquely by god he made us each special every one of us have something special to give something special to show and something special to share so we are going to make um these dolls and you're going to pick one for a girl one for a boy and it says your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples so we're spreading the light we're spreading the love of jesus so we're standing united in love and so you're going to get one of these and you're going to pick this and you're going to color it um so that it represents you and if it was my doll i'm going to um, go ahead and color the things that would represent me and obviously you see them in an orange shirt so i'm going to go ahead and color my person with an orange shirt and just color that in real quick. So your goal is just to kind of make this doll represent you. So when you are standing united in love, this represents you. Okay, so there's my orange shirt and I have blue jeans on. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. So I have curly hair. So I'm gonna make my doll with curly hair. And I have long hair. So we're gonna have it curly. Just like that. So if you think about the color hair that you would have, you would add that to yours. Great big smile. And last but not least, I want to show that I have some glasses. So everybody knows, hey, I know who that is. And I got my glasses. And then if you want to, you can even color in your heart. Okay? Color that in. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually cut this out. And you guys are going to form a chain with all of the dolls that you cut out. And that's showing that you guys all are standing together, united in love. Get your scissors. And you're going to just quickly cut it out. And obviously when you get around the part where you had your hair, you just cut around that part. And just like that. Okay. And then the next paper chain will be cut out and then they'll just form together by taping them. Chain coming across, showing unity. Miss Mandy, thank you so much. That was so much fun. Community kids, did you guys have fun today? If you had fun, go ahead and clap your hand. Yay! Awesome! I had fun too. Since today's theme is about love, remember 
we love you. And most important, Jesus loves you. We'll see you next week. Oh, but remember, if you want to worship with us, make sure that you click the link in the description, okay? Awesome. Well, thanks for having fun with us this week, community kids. We love you. Jesus loves you. See you next time.